Tomorrow marks the first day that armed teachers will be allowed in Florida classrooms. The Guardian program, as it's called, was originally designated to allow only law enforcement, certain school personnel, or hired security guards to carry guns on school grounds. But legislators then changed that part of the law this past spring. Now it will also allow specially trained teachers to carry weapons. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is here now. So Eric, what sort of changes can parents expect to see at their schools in our area starting tomorrow? Well, actually, Katie, very little, at least here and at least for now. In the state of Florida, there are 67 school districts, each one of them uh, representing a particular county. Now, in the Bay Area, there are seven counties already participating in the Guardian system. There's Citrus, Hillsborough, Manatee, Pasco, Pinellas, Polk, and Sarasota. But none of those seven are planning to allow armed teachers in the classroom. Right now, there are 36 of those 67 counties participating in the Guardian program. By law, they are all supposed to be providing security, but not all of them, especially smaller districts, can afford it. So far, 11 have expressed interest in letting teachers carry guns, and every single one of those districts are in rural areas with low populations. We're paying for trained law enforcement, or armed security has been a financial challenge. The law, of course, stems from the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. When lawmakers were first talking about changing the Guardian program in the spring to let teachers carry guns, you'll remember, school board members in our area said they had talked to parent groups and teachers about the idea, and they were absolutely against it. That teachers are not feeling comfortable um, being armed or having other teachers armed on campus. Their job is teaching and learning. It sets a precedent for other districts to also, if they are in similar situations, to follow suit and make sure we continue to send a message to our lawmakers that we do not want our teachers to have one more thing placed on their plate. Important to remember, not just anyone can become a guardian. They have to pass a drug test, psychological exams and also complete 144 hours of training before being allowed to carry a weapon on campus. For now, in the Tampa Bay area, that will not include classroom teachers, but again, the law allowing it takes effect tomorrow.